While many parents are home with their children during the coronavirus pandemic, Dr. Zafia Ankulsaria brings hers to work. Seven months pregnant with a son, she co-directs an intensive care unit, or ICU, in Los Angeles. He's really well behaved in the sense that when I'm doing the procedures, he's, he's chilling. He doesn't give me any trouble. He just lies still. Uh, that would be really inconvenient if I was doing an intubation and I suddenly felt a pretty aggressive kick in there. Like, <laughs> Uncle Saria says she and her colleagues felt a sense of duty when the pandemic broke out. She researched the risks to her baby and determined that with personal protective equipment, or PPE, they would likely both remain healthy. Her concern now is what happens after birth. I'm worried that he's not going to have the ability to develop close relationships with family and friends because we're going to have to keep distance from everybody. During long days, surrounded by patients facing serious health issues, Uncle Saria calls decompression a critical part of her routine. We don't have a lot of time to process feelings around here. We speak to families on the phone uh, about their loved ones dying, and it is very difficult. And after that, if I wasn't pregnant, I would have a lot of wine, but I can't do that. <laughs> Uncle Saria says she and her husband have yet to decide on a name, and despite her friends asking, she will not be naming her child Corona, Coronalita, or COVID. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.